The first step of definition for each iMachining operation is the geometry selection. On the geometry page, click the new button to define the machining geometry for the outside contour. The geometry edit dialog box is displayed. This dialog box enables you to add and or edit geometry chains. When this dialog box is displayed, you can pick entities right off the solid model for the geometry definition. When defining geometry in iMachining, it is important to note that the geometry is defined as a pocket that can be open, closed, and or semi-closed, which means containing open edges. This simple part is a perfect example showing all these types of geometries. Also note that the chain selection order is important when defining geometries in iMachining. For the first operation, the geometry is defined as an open pocket with island. There are several chain selection options available. The default option curve will be used. In the graphics window, pick on the top edge of the stock model as shown. In inventor cam, the white arrow would generally indicate machining direction for typical profile and pocket type operations. However, no matter the direction of the chain geometry, iMachining will generate morphing spiral toolpaths that always perform climb cutting. Select Auto Constant Z in the Auto Select section of the Geometry Edit dialog box. Auto Constant Z will close the chain by automatically selecting all connecting entities on the same Z level. The confirmation message OK to Accept is displayed. Click the Yes button to accept the selection. The chain icon is displayed in the list. Next, pick on the top edge of the target model as shown. Select Auto Constant Z and click Yes to confirm the chain selection. Chain 2 now appears in the list. In the chain list, right click the outer chain, Chain 1, and choose Mark Chain as Open. This selection will enable the tool to approach from the outside and start machining from this chain. At this stage, the geometry is defined. Click Finish to confirm the geometry selection and exit the Geometry Edit dialog box.